An Oxford professor has stopped his work on chronic fatigue syndrome, also known as ME, because he says he's faced a barrage of online abuse from patients and campaigners. Unfortunately, the main treatments that are recommended by the NHS are two treatments called cognitive behaviour therapy and graded exercise therapy, and the problems with both of these treatments. We know that this is not a mental health condition, it's not an illness that is perpetuated by psychological factors, and we know from our own surveys that graded exercise, in actual fact, makes about over 50% of people with this illness worse. had to walk and you had to increase walking by 10% each week and as I began to get sicker and sicker I was told uh, this is the moment where you push through and you get better. I started the clinic being able to walk about four minutes each day. Um, I ended and I needed a, a wheelchair. I went back to my physio, I went back to my doctor, and they said, congratulations, uh, we're so glad we helped you recover. I spoke in the debate last year about Merrin Crofts, who is one of just two people in the UK who have had myalgic encephalomyelitis recorded as a cause of death. And Merrin's mother was very critical of the PACE guidance given by NICE and attributes the worsening of Merrin's condition to it. She tells me that Merrin thought she could push through the condition and keep going, although her family really wanted her to slow down. And sadly, it was only when the family contacted a private medical practitioner that Merrin was given the advice to slow down and told that she needed to rest. And Merrin's mother feels very strongly that had Merrin been given that advice when her condition started, she might not have gone on to develop severe ME. And Merrin's mother said to me, if the PACE trial were a drug, it would have been banned by now. Um, I have seen uh, scientists writing in journals like this, Journal of Health Psychology, calling out the PACE trial. There is a huge amount of evidence, Mr Rossendale, from the science community, from very eminent people, questioning the whole PACE trials, their methodology, uh, the evidence they used, the way they treated uh, the patients. And as has been said, graded exercise actually can make things much worse. This is based, as has been said, on the flawed PACE trial published in The Lancet in 2011. It was an unblinded study because you can't hide from people what treatment they're getting. That means all other aspects should have been very strict. And yet CBT and GET were promoted to patients as the thing that was going to help them. They didn't analyse their planned outcomes, which is critical in research. They lowered their defined targets simply because it was failing and use subjective rather than objective measures. Reanalysis of the PACE study has shown minimal benefit to these treatments. And indeed, as my honourable friend from Glasgow North West said, some people got worse and were still classified as a success. I think when, when the full details of the trial become known, this will be put down as one of the biggest medical scandals of the 21st century. Interestingly, Professor Sharp, who I've already mentioned, one of the authors of the PACE trial, has emailed me this week. He has told me that my behaviour is unbecoming of an MP. I'd like to say to Professor Sharp uh, that it's not my honourable friend's conduct that's unbecoming, and rather it is yours. Um, and sending emails like this do nothing whatever for the reputation of the scientific research community, and you should apologise. Mm -hmm. The fact that the Honourable Lady has been written to by a scientist and has been called out, I hope right honourable members from across this house will find shocking. Yeah.